しただからスバルくんのせいでーすゴロゴロゴロゴロゴロゴロゴロゴロ What is going on, YouTube? It is squids. I hope everyone's having a good day because I know I am. So, this video is coming out within one day of it actually dropping.、Um, but we got Ares the Goblin Slayer from Shuko Tensai today. And holy crap, what a freaking OVA! So, March 6th, last、oh, about a week and a half ago or so, we got the announcement at the voice actors panel. That season two is 100% confirmed, which we pretty much already knew, but it's nice knowing that it is 100% in the barrel coming, which they did, not, they did not drop a release date. But if I were a guessing man, I would say probably next spring, maybe winter 2022 or 2023, my bad. But either way, it's confirmed, and I don't think it's coming up this year. But To hold us over, what did we get? We got a OVA focused on Iris, which took place around, I think if I remember correctly, the second core around episode, I just want to say about halfway through when、um, Rudus meets Paul, and Iris is like, I'm gonna go goblin hunting, and he tells the Dirgid to go follow along just to make sure she doesn't get in trouble. And as a light novel enthusiast and just a Mashuko Tensai enthusiast, period,、um, I was very happy about this. Well, what did I think about it? Fantastic.、Um, the first season I gave a 9 out of 10 because it was great and everything. They did so superior.、Uh, they, they adapted it flawlessly. But season, or the core two, core two was leagues ahead of it. Like, It was unbelievable. And so when I heard they were doing this, hmm, happy as hell, excuse me. So, overall, the artwork is spectacular. The backgrounds, the everything, it's just freaking great. I mean, it, it, along with the season itself as well, it, they did fantastic, and I'm very happy about it. The colors pop, it's vibing.、Um, about. Halfway through the, the episode, which it is only a 24 minute, I think 23 minutes and 38 seconds or something long, like that.、Um, Iris,、uh, when she is fighting,、uh, is honestly some of the best action scenes we've gotten in the show.、Uh, there was blood, there was amazing cuts, they did fantastic.、Uh, so, starting from the beginning, we get some artwork, kind of like a little back lore type of thing. And obviously, it starts off. Where she's like, well, let's see if they're still. And she goes to the guild to see if that goblin slaying job is still open because she really wants to slay goblins. And it is. And I think, I believe if I remember correctly, it's one copper coin per goblin. And you have to cut off their left ear specifically to get the money for it. And so she goes and she,、uh, she runs into these, this, this, this group arguing with this little sorcerer named Cliff. Now, Cliff is going to be more important down the line. For sure, but at this point, he's not really much of anything.、Um, he's arguing with them, saying he's, he's a class A sorcerer, even though, like, obviously, he's not up there because he hasn't done any quests to get to that point yet. But he's arguing with them, and they pretty much call him a kid because he is a kid. He's an ignorant little shithead. <laughs> and, like, Iris steps in and, like, pretty much, you know, backs him off and everything, and they all leave. And so he's, now he's bothering Iris, you know, along the lines of like, you didn't have to step in and do that F you essentially. And she's like, you know what? I just, I just saved your ass. Screw you, man. And she texts him right in the face because it's not Iris, man. You get her temper going, not good, not good at all. So that happens. And then they, they start walking and he's following her and she's like, no. And he's like bragging about how amazing he is. And Iris is essentially along the lines of, You're nothing like Rudis. I'm just saying. Rudis is my teacher and he's amazing. And while this is all going on, you get a little speck of Rudis following along in the dusting trails like, like, like Rudis told them to. And they get out there and she's like, fine, whatever, you know, prove it. And so they get out there and he casts a nice huge fireball spell, which ends up incinerating like, I'd say, I think like four or five goblins at once. And with that being said, It kind of chars them all up. So she can't even get the freaking coin for it. And she's like, whatever.、And、he's like, well, this is boring. Let's go into the woods. Let's go find some real adventure. And she's like, 
uh, hello, by the time we get out of the woods, it's going to be dark and we're going to be lost. He's like, oh, screw it. She's like, okay, whatever. So they go in and they get lost. <laughs> and after that happens, you know, she's like, hold on, let me, let me get us out of here and we'll figure this out. So they go in and she's listening and she hears some, some swords going on. She's like, there, we'll go that way and find out what the heck to get out of here. So they go and they find, uh, well, I won't get into too much for spoiler territory for like the future plots and everything, but they run into uh, a little prince, well, it's not a princess, I guess. She's the next in line to become the Pope. And her bodyguard for the temple, or the temple guard, which ironically, I won't, I guess I won't go too much, but that is Zenith's sister. So if you see any resemblance, obviously, to Zenith, and that, that is why she is her sister. There. So that happens, and like, the other people, which you come to find out actually in the OVA, um, are trying to actually assassinate her because the Pope right now is trying to have human and demons get along, and this next in, uh, the little princess in the next in line don't want that to happen. So, but they're also attacking little girls. So Iris just can't stand back and watch. So she gets out there and just slaughters them. He hides like a little bitch boy, and she goes out there and she got some man like three, if I remember correctly just it's legitimately incinerates them best animation of a fight scene we have gotten in this show and we've seen some amazing ones with like Ashtead and the dragon god and like all those people but that especially with the gore was fantastic and once that all happens and is said and done we get we, they meet face to face and she's like well, thanks for saving us and she's like well yeah what's your name and iris goes uh it's i rigid i am a super and obviously she's like Okay. So that happens, and then, like, the little mage comes out with a helmet on from one of the guards that has been murdered. Or assassins, I guess, necessarily. Um, Pope's assassins. And they go away, and they get back to town, and she thanks her, yada, 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 and the princess doesn't really say anything. The next in line, Pope does not say anything. And he takes his helmet off, and you kind of find out, especially because while they're actually while they're walking away, one of the assassins is like, oh, and says some stuff. Well, yeah, Cliff is technically... Um, he's a big, he's, he's a big, big face that she, he doesn't want everybody to know about yet quite, so kind of hides that fact. And they get back, and he's like, he literally proposes to her. He's like, you're freaking amazing, I love you, propose to me, or I'm gonna marry you. And she's like, no, no. He said, like, well, well, why not? You, you love your teacher? She's like, yeah, you know, Rudis is, is genuinely amazing. And you just felt the sincerity, and he could see, like, when she's describing this, the beauty the beauty she's just her hair's flowing and there's no words and he's like okay fine all right well it's nice meeting you essentially it goes away and of course Richard's on the bridge and she's like whoa, whoa, whoa where are you and she's like i just, just did some errands and stuff not 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 uh, admitting that uh rudis sent him to watch her so she didn't get in trouble <laughs> and so that all happens and essentially we get a, a nice little scene where uh, Cliff's writing is, you know, writing about Rudis, and like I said, that's going to take place in the future, but we won't get into that today. And so that all happening, uh, Rudis essentially it, it goes right into the fact after Rudis just got in a fight with Paul, and goes straight, pretty much right into what happened in the episode. Uh, overall, like I said, I give this OVA a ten out of ten, just like I did for the core two. And man, if you haven't watched it yet, I recommend it. I was surprised, honestly, that Funimation dropped it last night. Uh, March 15th, 2022, and it, I thought I was going to have to find it some other way, so when I seen that it was uploaded on to Funimation, or I watched it on Hulu, but highly recommend it. If you haven't watched it yet, go watch it. Go watch it and enjoy it and indulge in it, because it's going to be the last time you see Iris or Richard in quite a little bit, so yeah, it is what it is. But for a send-off and a nice filler, not a filler necessarily, but a nice gap in between that they couldn't really do with the extra chapters. Very beautiful. Highly appreciated. Studio Bind, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and with that being said, that's about all I got for today. Um, I will upload another one next week. And uh, yeah, with that being said, have a good day. Have a good night. Have a good evening, whatever it is for you. And uh, yeah. Peace.